Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Klepper's Corner. Today's topic is about Trump's, I guess we could call it, obsession with drag performers, which is ironic as his party is directly opposed to them. With that being said, let's play the first clip and then we'll come back and discuss it. You know, you're really beautiful. And a woman that looks like that has to have her own special scent. Oh, thank you. Maybe, maybe you could tell me what you think of this scent. Hmm, I like that. This, this may be the best of all. Oh, you dirty boy, you. Oh, oh. Donald, I thought you were a gentleman. Hm. You can't say I didn't try. Now, as we saw in that clip, Donald Trump was sniffing perfume off of a person who resembles, I just can't quite put my finger on it. Oh, uh, yes. I remember seeing them in Borat. Roll the clip. She's 15. She's too old for you. That's it. It's Rudy Giuliani, who was tricked into doing an interview with someone who said they were 15 and he was conducting himself like that. Trump always surrounds himself with bizarre people. It's so weird to be doing an odd skit where your friend is dressed in drag while you sniff them. If people are talking about Kamala stealing Trump's no tax on tips, which actually dates back to Ron Paul, then I suppose Trump stole sniffing people from Joe Biden. Not cool, Donald. That's not all. A couple of photos have been unearthed online of Trump's incredible, well-vetted, and non-scandalous VP pick J.D. Vance posing in drag. How come the people that always trash on others' lifestyles always wind up being the people conducting themselves? That way, privately, it's a little thing called projection, folks. I've heard that JD's drag name was Anita Couch, although this has not been entirely confirmed. Thank you for your time. If you enjoyed, maybe consider liking and subscribing. Have a good one. Do it, folks. It's not that hard.